Well, just like local literature, supporting local design has become really easy. Tola Africa represents a curated selection of fine fashion, decor, children's dolls, and a lot more crafted exclusively by African artisans and designers. We love that. So these creative talents, who are community-based, are finding markets locally and abroad at uh, this fantastic non-profit organization. They really have hit the mark, allowing the world to discover Africa at their fingertips. We all need a little bit of help, especially small business owners who are trying to navigate their way through this economy while trying to stand out in the online market. In comes Tola Africa, a not-for-profit company who helps small community businesses grow and create more jobs. The driven, dynamic chairwoman of Tola Africa is Maggie Sabia. Maggie, why do you think developing a small community-based business is so important in South Africa? The big issue that we have in the country is job creation. Developing small businesses is really important to help us monetize our creativity and our ingenuity. What are some of the challenges that these small-based community businesses face? Most of the time you find that from a visibility perspective, only the people that are around you can see and appreciate your, your craft and your products. The other issue is distribution. How do you get your products then from point A to point B? If somebody's in Durban, they like what they've seen. And then just the business knowledge, you know, challenges with cash flow management are some of the challenges that um, small businesses do face. And how does Tala Africa to help. Tola Africa is really an online platform. So the whole point is to bridge that gap of the designers, products reaching the end user, be it in South Africa or globally, from dolls to beaded works to household stuff. And um, they, they are curated. They go through a very, very, very rigorous vetting program. Our designers do not pay anything. It's a, Tola Africa is a non-profit organization. The plush dolls developed by Shwe Shwe Poppy's co-founder, Wandile Solombella, have found markets far beyond the community who produce them. How does being part of Tola Africa benefit you? Being part of Tola Africa benefited us a lot. As we small business owners, we sometimes we don't know how to deal with the media and the, how to go buy those things. So they're helping us in the media side of things, like going to TV, going to the radio. Also, they've got an online shop which we sell our products from there. So it, uh, the online shop reaches a lot of uh, countries like uh, overseas countries and even locally they do, people they do place orders from there. Tola has actually helped us in giving us a bigger footprint. Um, you know, they've got a far bigger reach than us as just the Basel Collection as a local South African brand. So it's been very beneficial in that we've been exposed to markets that we wouldn't ordinarily be exposed to on our own. The not-for-profit company is currently helping eight grassroots businesses with products that range from accessories, footwear, dolls and deco. And they all have a special story to tell. Wandile, tell me, what exactly is a Shwe Shwe Popi? A Shwe Shwe Popi is a doll that was created here in Soweto from kids' drawings. And then from those drawings, we made the dolls and we named the dolls after the kids that did the drawings. So that's why we've got characters like Hope, Faith, Pilisiwe, and Muisile. And then we use Shwe Shwe material, that's why we call ourselves Shwe Shwe Popis. Sounds like you're doing an absolutely incredible job. Where do the proceeds go? The process goes to helping the kids that did the drawings because we've got a trust fund that we set for the kids. Certain percentage of the sales, it goes to the trust fund that we set for the kids for their education. And then uh, I'm working with the ladies in the community. So ladies in the community, they're getting paid for making the social puppies because some of the ladies, they were not working before we started social puppies. They were getting food parcels from the NGO here in Soweto called the African Children Feeding Scheme. So we thought it's not nice for people to get handouts. So it would be nice if we create something and then they can get paid for that. 
Tibata Collection is a lifestyle brand that offers representative toys. So we've got toys that really seek to empower young girls to love themselves and to appreciate the bodies that they were born in. So we've got uh, quite a diverse range, ranging from doll with albinism, doll with vitiligo, a mixed race doll, an Indian doll, things that have not, not been done before. So as a brand, as Sibatle Collection, we're really looking to be the voice for those kids that have been previously uh, marginalized or ignored by the toy industry. What I love most about my job is that you see people in communities that create these amazing works with their hands. Mm -hmm. And it kind of just ends there. Being able to participate in a program like Tola Africa is actually starting to take those people out of the backwoods, out of the back, in, from obscurity, mm -hmm. you know, to put them on a global stage and say, you know what, look what we have done, look what we can do. We bring the, the technological platform and our designers, who is our partners in this case, bring the products. So I love that. I really love that about my job. To support the fantastic range of designs and products represented by this entrepreneurial initiative, check out tolaafrica.com.